Hi there, students. A mixed metaphor. Okay, a metaphor is where you um, compare two things, where you say that they are the same. And a mixed metaphor is where you use two or more different metaphors that produce something that doesn't really make sense or something that's a bit silly or a bit funny. Um, there was one I really liked I saw the other day that somebody said that the X of Twitter or taking away the Twitter sign and putting up this X sign left a sour taste in the client's eye. Taste in the eye? It's not a sour taste in, in, in his mouth, but it looked bad as well. So, a, a, a mixed metaphor, are they bad? Who says mixed metaphors are bad? Well, some of them are really a bit ridiculous, but I personally don't see why you can't mix any metaphors you want, as long as it makes sense. This, um, the, uh, this company is a tower of strength and it will forge ahead. Um, that's accused of being a mixed metaphor. I don't really see anything wrong with it. The company's a tower of strength and it's forging ahead. I, I th I, I'm, I'm not so upset about it, but it is a mixed metaphor. The new job has let uh, the employee spread his wings and really blossom. Okay, he spread his wings and he's growing. Um, yes, this is a mixed... Uh, uh, a mixed metaphor and they would um, a purist would criticize this a purist would say that this is not good writing I think it's where you you get mm, mm, put metaphors until they start to contradict each other or they're very incongruous um, I'm going to wait until the cows freeze over. Well, the cows come home and hell freezes over. I'm I'm pretty sure this one, I feel this one is not very good because it's cows don't freeze over until the cows come home or till hell freezes over. And I think you, you could use both together, but you can't mix them. And that's a good metaphor. Um, okay, they, they, um, uh, that's, a mixed metaphor. They also very often call these a mixophore as well. So a mixed metaphor is when you're joining two or more metaphors together in a way that doesn't really work. Now notice most idioms are metaphors. So he was sleeping at the switch. He wasn't attentive to his job. Okay, it's a metaphor of somebody who's got a switch and they've got to uh, click the switch at the right time. Um, a slip of the tongue. So, your foot slips, a slip of the tongue. This is a metaphor as well. But all of these are idioms. So, it's mixed metaphors. It's really a case of mix it, of joining together various different are uh, idioms uh, and I think that's the point of it now I'm I'm pretty sure you could use this as a parody for example the character zap from Futurama if we can hit that bullseye then the rest of the de dominoes will fall like a house of cards checkmate so the bullseye you hit the bullseye in target shooting the dominoes fall one by one, like a house of cards collapses. Checkmate, you win the game of chess. And I think that's, that, I think, I actually think that's quite, it, it, it's quite good. I think it's qu quite funny. Um, I, it clearly makes sense. Um, I smell a rat, but I'll nip him in the bud. 
I don't think it, I don't see anything terribly wrong with that. I think with this idea of a mixed metaphor, it, I think the question is, does the metaphor work or not? And I think that's really the important bit. If the metaphor works, then I think it's okay, including ones that are a bit funny. So that um, we're going to have to iron out the remaining bottlenecks. Okay, I and that resolve the remaining bottlenecks, the places where the flow is not good or the system does not pro um, probably work. Okay, so mixed metaphors. It's your mixing different um, idioms in order to uh, say something and perhaps you go too far by mi mixing them. Um, that's all it is the idea of a mixed metaphor. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Mixed Metaphors.